Okay, it looks like to me we survived, uh... We survived last night's encounter. I still hear zombies out there though, so... It's about 8.10, I think in the morning. Are they breaking in? I thought I heard a distinct, very loud hit on on something over there. Um, I think I looted this area, so I'm actually glad I survived tonight. Let me just check out here really quick. Okay, we, we seem to have, uh, seem to have survived that night. Very good. I will be going ahead and trying to see what these other houses hold. Now, remembering that, of course, uh, my house is very far in that direction. So, if I do choose to go back at some point, it might prove to be a little bit challenging, considering all the zombies that are out here. And let me take out this bad boy. There we go. Take a seat. There you are. And that's a really weird looking house. It's like a... Some type of, uh... Roof here is it's a very flat roof. I'm not sure if I agree with the structure of this. So I want to look in these windows. I've learned my lesson since last time to look inside all these windows before, uh... Trying to barge in, so... See if the alarm goes off. Any alarms? No alarms. Let's, uh, let's climb through here. And, oh, okay, cool. No, check this real quick. Hello, anyone in here? Nope, that's a nice looking house though. Despite the whole flat roof situation, it is a pretty decent home. Uh, let me see in here. We got some uh, yo-yos. I got a sheet here, if I want to put a sheet down somewhere. That could prove to be interesting, although I don't really need it. Uh, let's check inside this dresser here. I kind of want a weapon. I have I have this... Uh, this weird, stupid rolling ping thing, but I don't think that's gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna have to actually equip the um, the golf club, which I think actually somebody suggested, which was a good suggestion, by the way, to whoever told me to equip the golf club. It is just in my primary hand, but I think it'll do the job for now. And we've got all these other bad boys here. Uh, let me take a drink. I don't think I actually drank at all. Well, and there's actually a lot of options here for me to. Uh, I think it's because the windows here. Fill the bowl, fill empty mug. Okay, cool. So we have all this stuff. I'm actually gonna just close the curtains. There's a zombie out there, and he's staring in here, and it's kind of uh, kind of spooky, spooking me out a little bit. Get some apple. I'm gonna eat these carrots. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought that's a dangerous. The carrots were uncooked. I was gonna say that's shouldn't be a problem. I mean, they're just carrots. I'm actually I'm gonna eat this apple as well. Uh, now I do have a good amount of stuff in my inventory. Uh, which I didn't really see prior to this. So, wait, temperature. This actually adds to my temperature. I'm not sure why it does that. I might just take my shoes off and see where that gets me. Uh, don't know if... Th is that I'm going to take these tomato seeds with me. Um, I'm going to see what it does. Does it overburden me? Well, I'm actually pretty full. Oh, I do hear some type of pounding. Yeah, it's definitely pounding. Uh... Okay, well in that case, I'm actually going to leave. I don't really feel like uh, staying here. Tonight. Or right now at all. Is it coming from out here? Uh, I don't care, I'm going to leave. That's kind of spooky. Like, I hate hearing the stupid zombies, like... Making their way. It was actually coming from down there. That's even spooky. I can't even see down there. It just looks like woods down there. Alright, let's climb over this fence here and see what's on the other side of this fence. It looks like a house, which is actually exactly what I thought would be on the other side of this fence here. If you know, Oh, this is open. Cool, I thought I had to break into it. Blue paint, lighter purple paint, uh, and a golf club. A flashlight? I have not seen a flashlight yet. I will say that much. I haven't seen a flashlight yet. Here's some zombies out there rustling in the woods. Is it a problem? Is there a problem here? Hello? Because I, I, I hear something that sounds like a problem. Ooh. And there's stuff coming from... Oh, man, this house looks so good to loot, too, though. It's got, like, three stories. A zombie over there. Hello. A zombie's coming over. Okay, so... Maybe not a good idea right now. Maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe I'm better off not not trying to loot this place. Oh, man, this looks like a good house, too. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I totally forgot about this. There's a warehouse up there. And if I can get to it without uh, too much distress, that would be pretty good. 
uh, because those warehouses really have good items in them. So if I can get over there, I can probably make out like a bandit. Did I already loot this place? No, but we're gonna find out. Alarms? Definitely, definitely alarms. Hello, 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 goodbye, hello, goodbye. Oh, you're coming from the woods now, oh! We got ourselves some natural woodsmen here. All right, that's totally fine by me. Oh man, they're coming from everywhere. Oh my god, that one's like sprinting. Oh man, they're coming from, they're from all directions right now. This is not. Okay. That's all right. I just want to see where they're coming from. Maybe I can anticipate them before they get over here. And I'm trying to remember where this place was. It was definitely on the street here. Uh, it's actually, is it this place right here? We're gonna find out. Uh, this may have been good. Just... You guys are running down there. They're still running to the alarm. Yeah, just keep running to the alarm. Don't even bother with me. I'm not gonna do anything to you guys. You just, uh... Oh, shit. Look at them. They're... They're already inside. They're already inside. That one's coming over here. Oh, boy. That alarm didn't really help me out at all. That kind of sucks. I was actually hoping I'd be able to get in there and, uh, stay down. I actually thought I'd be able to get in there and, uh, maybe, maybe be able to loot something, but, uh, oh, it looks like I got a Facebook notification, actually. Uh, very interesting. I actually love getting Facebook notifications while I'm playing this game. It really, really puts me in the mood to uh, kill some more zombies. Alright, so, ah, oh, man, I can't get to that warehouse, can I? I wonder if I should just turn back now and just sort of make my way back, but at the same time, I mean, if there's just two zombies over there, if there's two zombies, I can handle them. I can for sure handle them. If there are just two zombies inside that building, I can for sure take them out. See, they're not even in the window anymore. Alright, let me let me deal with this bad boy real quick. What up, slugger? Sit down for a second. Okay. Fortunately, the golf club is a little bit of a uh, little bit of a trickster because it does wear you out, and if you can't execute those zombies in time, then you are gonna have some troubles. There's just two zombies in there, right? I'm trying to look in there. There's another one in there now too. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to fight all this. Here, let me go around. Oh wow, you're crawling over here. You're making your way over here right now. Why don't you, uh, why don't you take a seat? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Take a seat for a second while I figure this out. That's a really nice purple sweatshirt zombie over there. I don't see those very often. Is he coming over here, though? I just gotta ask. Because you never know. Actually, there's one down there. I get... Oh. I hear something in the woods. I get too paranoid playing this game, honestly, like... I'm always just listening out for all these zombies just to, uh, I'm waiting for them to come out of the woods and just absolutely destroy me in every sense. Okay, I'm gonna climb through here. This could be good or bad, we'll see. I'm actually gonna unlock this door real quick. And, uh, I'm gonna close the window here. Alright, here we go. There's, there's, this, there's a guy over here that's, like, kind of dead. The zombie's coming over here. That's fine. You can come over here. Just make your way. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, you're fast. That's one down. Let me just check out these crates real quick. See, these these have a lot in them. These have a lot in them. That's like, all these crates have something in them, which is why it's so important for me to like figure out. Or at least get control of this area. Alright. Next up is you. How fast are you? Well, not fast enough, I guess. Ew, yeah, that noise it makes. It's, see, look. There's so many things here. Jesus. Holy moly. I'm gonna take the fertilizer. That's like two. Two something. There's a tent peg over here. See, now I'm becoming overburdened. See, I knew this would be a problem. Uh, let me take off the belt. I don't think the belt will be too much of a problem. 
It's just, uh, geez. Okay, what about the rolling pin? I don't need the rolling pin. No, that, that freed up some weight. There's just so much stuff here. I will have to make, like, multiple runs from here to the farm if I choose to do so. A sledgehammer. Oh, man. Wow. And a crowbar. I wonder. I have I have the golf club. That's a, a two weight. That's a four weight. Let me see if I can even handle this bad boy. See if I can handle the uh, the crowbar. It's probably gonna weigh more than I can possibly. Yeah. Uh, in that case, let me put something back here. Oh, that weighs a shit ton. That weighs that weighs more than I was planning on that weighing actually. Uh, now I had. I don't like the way that sounded. I definitely didn't like the way that sounded. I have this bag here, and I have this bag here, and they're both full of stuff. So, man, I don't want to put the crowbar back, but let me put the bowl of water back. Put the okay, that that freed it up actually. Great. I just want the crowbar just to be able to use it and maybe do some damages. I was actually waiting for him to get up. Anybody in the break room having a snack or something, no? Okay, so we've we've gained control of this area. That's very good. We've established it, but uh, that doesn't mean later on that Oh. I don't like I don't like zombies, man. I just don't like zombies. Shotgun shells in there. That's pretty Oh, and now they're now they're trying to break in. Well, I guess I overstayed my welcome as it is. Hello? I don't even know where the hell it's, that sound's coming from. I'm down there. I want to test out my crowbar real quick. Excuse me, would you be my practice dummy while I test out my crowbar, please? Thank you. What? Oh man, he got knocked off. Fruit pebbles out. Trying to make this PG. <laughs> Tried pretty hard to do that too, okay. Took me a while to come up with something that was a PG, PG rated F word. Um, not even sure why I'm even throwing PG in here considering this is a game about, well, murdered and being murdered, post-apocalypse, all that jazz. So, let's make our way back to our house. Um, now I do realize now, now I do realize now, that uh, my bag that I've been trying to carry extra stuff in I forget which one that is. I think this one or one of the two. Uh, it's actually interfering with my main inventory, and I think it's primarily because I don't have that in the uh, in the open slot. I don't have the my primary slot. I just kind of have my crowbar in there. Chill out. Boy, excuse me. Would you like a round as well? Oh, you're fast. Uh, I'm pretty tired from all this zombie, all this zombie shenanigans. If uh, if you could please leave me alone as I wake my uh, make my way back to the house, that would be great. I don't really want to deal with all you guys right now. My durability is pretty good on the crowbar. I'm actually impressed. Quietly, I'll sneak up on him and bam. Oh shit. Okay. He he actually turned around. Oh this. Oh great. We got Big Bertha at 12 o'clock. Home run! Get out of here. Okay. So there's a... Ah, oh, Jesus. I just want to make sure that nobody was behind me. There, the trail I believe starts here. I'm I'm really tired of these. I'm just gonna run. I I'm, I'm tired of dealing with the zombies. There's just too many of them, and they're all pretty upset. You know what? This doesn't really look like. A oh, it is a trail. Okay. I was gonna say it doesn't. Whoa. Okay. Yelling at me. You know what? And ideally, like, if this was like a real situation, like in real life, and like I I wouldn't do this. There's no way. I, number one, I would run through the woods this late at night. And all of a sudden, just hear goddamn zombies running around like, Grr. chill out. 
I'm not even gonna deal with that one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, get me out of here. Oh my goodness, I am, yes, I am in slightly panicked. I'm gonna hit a home run here. RBI! Alright, you just, you can just keep walking over. See, the thing is, like, with them following me is, like, they will find my house, and I don't want them to, like, repopulate or whatever the hell zombies do. So I just want to deal with this one real quick. RBI! Home run. Four. Touchdown. Dealt with that. Now maybe I can peacefully make my way back to my farm reservation that I have been oh so generous to let you guys even step foot on. But now not anymore. Now I got a crowbar that has like a hundred <laughs> durability and is a pretty mean piece of weaponry. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad I cleared out that warehouse. I'll probably be making more runs over there as time passes. Anybody in my barn? So if you guys are in my fucking barn, I will knock you. Oh, I can't even see in there. Never mind. You can stay in my barn if you're in my barn. Oh my gosh. I got a flashlight though. I don't even know if it has batteries. Hello, did uh, did any zombies decide to uh, come towards my... Pr what the hell's going on in there? Why is there like... Oh, no, uh, just my vision. I thought somebody was like flipping light switches or something. Any zombies? Nope. Great. And I'm pretty tired. Actually, I'm very tired. Well, I think it's been a pretty uh, eventful run. Uh, dealt with some zombies, found a pretty good weapon. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Yeah, these light switches actually work too, which is cool. Uh, I don't know if I should turn the light switches off though at night. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay, thought I heard something. I'm just gonna be cautious when approaching this. Can I, uh, do I have any sheets? Did I grab any? Yes, I did. Add the sheet to the window here as well. Close that bad boy. I can't see anything. If there was a zombie in you- Oh, jeez, look at that window. I wonder if they can even see that, because, like, they might see the light on in here or something. Can I turn the light off? Yeah, hold on. Ah, there we go. Alright, that's how I'm gonna deal with that. I don't want to attract any zombies over here. Turn this light off as well. Come on. Come on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Please. Please, just- Ugh. Ugh. Is it in the outside? No, it's not. I just... Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to die. Oh, there we go. Got it. Alright. Phew. That was pretty eventful. Turning off the light switches. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Project Zomboid. Uh, not so much, uh... Not so much bad stuff happened, which is good. I don't like bad stuff happening. I'm gonna keep my inventory for now because I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna head off to bed in, uh, in the game as well as probably in uh, real life. Because I'm pretty tired myself here. Anyways, my name is Royal HD. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Project Zombie. And I'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully we're still alive. May the crowbars be with you. <laughs>